Okay. It's showtime. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you, Johnny, and welcome everyone to another exciting game of Jeopardy. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everybody. This is game number 133 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $6.48 million. Cut once. Cut in quotation marks. The body human. The legendary. Handware. And a look at our final category. Residential anagrams. I might do well on that one. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Cut once for 200. Dining utensils. Player one. What is cutlery? Precisely. Pick again. Cut once 400. It's the Constitution State. Player one. What? is Connecticut. Hey, you're correct. Cut one six. Answer. Okay. The Daily Double. Well, unfortunately, no Daily Double in presidential anagrams. I'd have done well on that one. I can risk up to a thousand. I'll do a thousand. Hair is very closely cropped in this style. Player one. What is crew cut? Precisely. All right. Take again. Cut once 800. A murderer or an aggressively dangerous person. Player two, what is a cutthroat? Oh. Definitely. Let's do the body human for 200. The oracle is the fleshy outer portion of this organ. Player one. What is the ear? Precisely. Pick again. Cut once a thousand. Located in India, this city is about 50 miles west of Bangladesh. Player one. What is Calcutta? Hey, you're correct. Body human 400. Also called the larynx, this box is larger in men than in women. Player one. What is the voice box? Precisely. Pick again. Body human six. Brushing and flossing can prevent and treat gingivitis, the inflammation of these. Player one. What are gums? Hey, you're correct. I remember that clue. Body human 800. The longest muscle in a human, the sartorius, is flat and narrow and lies within this part of the body. Player two, what is the thigh? Oh, of course. Exactly. Let's do presidential anagrams for 200. Henry Jolt. Player one. Who is John Tyler? Hey, you're correct. Presidential Anagrams 400. Sir, low down Wu. Player one. Who is Woodrow Wilson? Precisely. Pick again. Anagram 600. Acid Logic Novel. Player one. Who is Calvin Coolidge? Hey, you're correct. Presidential Anagrams 800. A Carbon Hillman. Player one. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Exactly. Presidential anagrams for a thousand. Swank Jean Cord. Player one. Who is Andrew Jackson? Definitely. Did well on that one. Body human a thousand. Ligaments in the elbow connect the radius and the ulna to this funny bone. Player one. What is the humerus? 
Exactly. Handwear, 200. In a nursery rhyme, they were lost by three little kittens. Player one. What are mittens? Hey, you're correct. Handwear, 400. It's the glove of the Golden Gloves and may deliver a KO. Player one. What are boxing gloves? Or what is... Yep. Exactly. Handwear 600. It's a set of linked brass rings slipped over the fingers of a thug who wants to rearrange your face. Player one. What are brass knuckles? Definitely. Handwear 8. These wood percussion instruments are fastened to the thumb and clicked together. Hole. Player three. What are castanets? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Let's try the legendary for 200. Legend says this English king's tomb reads Rex Quandum Rex K Futurus. The once and future king. Player three. Who was King Arthur? Oh, of course. Yes. Excuse me. The legendary for 400. This mythological hero's sixth labor involved cleaning the Augean stables, which were a disgusting mess. Player three. Who was Heracles? Precisely. Oh. Pick again. The legendary for 600. This Roman god of sowing and harvesting had a planet named for him. Player one. Who is Mars? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Nobody? Player three. Who is Saturn? Oh, the other one. Definitely. The legendary for 800. Golden Legend, a book from the late Middle Ages, popularized this saint's dragon-killing prowess. Player one. Who is St. George? Exactly. Handwear a thousand. To treat with special consideration is to handle something with these gloves. Player one. What are kid gloves? Yes. Broken five figures. Legendary a thousand. This biblical strongman carried the gates of Gaza about 40 miles to a hilltop near Hebron. Player one. Who is Samson? Got it. Precisely. Pick again. 1801 to 1810 for a thousand. In 1804, under Dessaline, this island nation proclaimed itself the first black republic. Player one. What is Haiti? Yes. 800. In 1801, Thomas Young found the cause of astigmatism and demonstrated the wave theory of this. Player one. What is light? Precisely. Pick again. 600. This French emperor established the Legion of Honor as an order of merit in 1802. Player three. Oh. Who is Napoleon? And that's what I would have said. Definitely. 1801-1810 for 200. In 1806, he published his compendious dictionary of the English language. Player one. Who is Noah Webster? Precisely. Pick again. Last one. Here's the final answer on this board. In October 1804, Lewis and Clark prepared to spend the first winter of their trip near this present-day North Dakota capital. Player two. Ugh. What is Bismarck? You took my answer. Exactly. But still, I did myself a lot okay, of good. That's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. Big lead. I got beat on two of the last three clues, but I still have the lead with 13,200. 2,600 for player three, 2,000 for player two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Celebrities. 
Name that novel. Straight Talk. Hmm. Christmas Cuisine. Country Boys. And to wrap things up, TV Nicknames. Hmm. I'll try Country Boys for 400. In 1998, this superstar reissued his first six albums as part of a limited series box set. Player three. Who is Garth Brooks? Yes. Huh. Country Boys for 800. He starred with wife Lisa Hartman in the TV movie Still Holding On, The Legend of Cadillac Jack. Player two. Who is Clint Black? Oh. Precisely. <clears throat> Pick again. How about Straight Talk for 400? There are often bluebirds over this European strait indicated here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player three. What is the Straits of Dover? Oh. Yes. Bluebirds over the Strait of Dover. For 800. Or Straits of Dover. During the Ice Age, the sea fell, and this strait became a land bridge between Asia and North America. Player two. What is the Bering Strait? Oh, of course. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for Name That Novel for 400. Before I left the castle, I so fixed its entrances that never more can the Count enter there undead. Player one. What is Dracula? That's right. And you seem to know your literature. Some of it. Uh, novel 800. Four legs good, two legs bad. Player one. What is Animal Farm? Exactly. Novel 1200. Answer? Yes. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? All of it. I have told you, reader, that I had learned to love Mr. Rochester. I could not unlove him now. Player one. What is Jane Eyre? Hey, you're correct. Doubled. Excuse me, folks. 1600, ain't that said, novel. I might just as well go away. George ain't gonna let me tend no rabbits now. Player one. What is of mice and men? Exactly. Novel 2000. What a pretty little Nell, cried Quill. Player two. Ugh. What is the old curiosity shop? Yep. That's right. And you seem to know your literature. I'll take Christmas Cuisine for 400. During the holidays, winter white chocolate is one of the most popular of this chain's 31 flavors. Player one. What is Baskin Robbins? Precisely. Pick again. Christmas Cuisine 8. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. Carolers demand a figgy one and won't go until they get some. Nobody? No. Take a look. Figgy Here's pudding. The right response. Christmas Cuisine 1200. About 1.76 billion of these striped canes are sold in the U.S. every year. Most of them are used for decoration. Player one. What are candy canes? Precisely. Pick again. Christmas Cuisine 1600. It's an English tradition to adorn this tusked animal's head with sprigs of bay, rosemary, and little flags. Player one. What is a walrus? Good answer, but no. sorry. That's wrong. Player three. What is pink? Definitely. Pink? Maybe a pink I'll elephant? I don't know. Celebrities idea. for 400. He made his first appearance on The Tonight Show in 1977. Now he hosts it. Player one. Who is Johnny Carson? Ooh. No. Sorry. Player three. Who is Jay Leno? Oh, of course. Precisely. 
Pick again. Duh. Celebrities for 800. This co-star of the movie Never Been Kissed is Steven Spielberg's goddaughter. Player two? Who is Drew Barrymore? Definitely. Hmm. Let's try TV nicknames for 400. Yay! Fonzie called this character Shortcake on Happy Days. Player three. Who is Joni? Oh. Exactly. TV nicknames for 800. Get intelligent and tell me Barbara Feldon's numerical TV agent nickname. Anyone at all? What we were looking agent for was this. Agent 99. Let's go for Country Boys for 1,200. Though he boasted of being an Okie from Muskogee, he's really from Bakersfield, California. Player three. Who is Merle Haggard? Exactly. Oh. Country Boys for 1,600. Sadly, this singer, who had a hit with Driving My Life Away, passed away in 1998. Player three. Who is Eddie Rabbit? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Country Boys for 2000. Colorful young country heartthrob whose hits include Rebecca Lynn and Love is the Right Place. Player two? Who is Brian White? Exactly. Oh. For some Jimmy reason, I thought the last name was White. For 1,200. A westerly flowing undercurrent removes salty water from the Mediterranean via this strait. Player three. What is the Straits of Gibraltar? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Straight talk for 1600. Traffic in this South American strait has increased because many super tankers are too large to use the Panama Canal. Player three. What is the Strait of Magellan? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Straight talk for 2000. On July 3rd, 1988, an Iranian airliner en route to Dubai was shot down over this Mideast Strait by a U.S. warship. Player two? What is the Strait of Hormuz? Oh. Hey, you're correct. Hormuz. Let's go with celebrities for 1,200. He said of his role in Gladiator, I've done some pretty physical stuff before, but this was unrelenting. Oh. Player three. Who is Russell Crowe? And I just thought of him. Precisely. Pick again. Celebrities for 1600. Answer? Uh-oh. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Betting it all. In 1995, he played the Riddler in Batman Forever and also starred in the second Ace Ventura movie. Player three. Who is Jim Carrey? Hey, you're correct. Oh, my. Celebrity for 2000. This female TV friend has a BS in biology from Vassar College. Who knew? Oh. Player two. Who is Lisa Kudrow? That wasn't what I would have said. Precisely. Pick again. Give me TV nicknames for 1,200. Wheezy was a nickname for this character on the Jeffersons. Player two? Who is Louise Jefferson? Oh. Yes, it was her. So pick again. TV nicknames for 1,600. It's the nickname of the MASH character from Crabapple Cove, Maine. Player one. What is Hawkeye? Precisely. Pick again. Nicknames 2000. This actor turned the tables as Venus Flytrap at WKRP. Player three. Who is Tim Reed? Oh. Yes. The last one. To finish off the round. At Christmas time, you'll have a burning desire to make a bush de Noel, a cake shaped like this. Player one. What is a log? Yes. Got it.
I'm not gonna have time for final thoughts because I got uh, somewhere to go after this. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. You're still thirty-three thousand six hundred for me, twenty-seven thousand two hundred for player two, thir player three, thirteen six for player two. Time now for final jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. U.S. US president. presidents. Go ahead, make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Let's see, she would have 54,400. I'm just going 33,400. Whatever happens, happens. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. Since his father died before he was born, his uncle Charles Burkhard helped raise him. I'm coming. I just have to finish something up. Who is Hayes? Let's see how everyone did. Your question Harry S. Truman. Is, Sorry. No. Nope. That's wrong. How much did it cost you? Everything. Your question. Truman sir. also. Sorry. No. Nope. That's wrong. How much did it cost you? 12,800. Your question. I said Hayes. That's it. Yes. All right. Well done. And your wager was? Bircher gave it away. 33,400 for $67,000. Congratulations to our winner. Player one. Had to go all out after going silent for quite a while. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Bye, Alex. We'll look at my uh, final score, and then that'll do. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Check out your stats. Six million five hundred forty-seven thousand. And I'll see you all next time.